utility versus scale. That's really what Bitcoin Cash needs to be thinking about. Uh, now that the um, May 15th um, post ABC uh, first network upgrade has happened and it's been painless, uh, barely even noticeable, mm, even a great success with uh, uh, a chain of transactions uh, as high as 4,642 being mined when previously people thought oh no we can't raise it above 50 oh no we can't raise it about 500 oh no we can't raise it about above 2500 um now somebody took a leap of faith or did the math i i don't know and uh 4, 4642 hmm. that kind of makes um some people look a little foolish who were who were you know, holding the line on that for a while. But anyway, now that that's done, um, now the choice, you know, because there are limited resources, right? All the time I go into uh, RBC or somewhere and I say, hey, we got a choice. We got we to gotta focus on something, you know? We got to, people are like, no, I want to have both, man. I want to have both. We can do both. We can do everything. And we can't, we can't. We have to focus on some things. And so um, there was a, uh, a tweet and a Reddit thread recently by uh, Uname that uh, where he asked people to select priorities. And of course, uh, Uname is essentially, if not the most powerful person in the uh, Bitcoin Cash Node team, one of, one of the very top. So um, yeah, his opinion uh, matters, but um, so, but for me, I, I think it's basically a choice between uh, utility and scale. Do we focus more on scaling or do we focus more on utility? Uh, this is the basic question. And um, the fact is, you know, especially now, uh, it's, it's dead obvious because uh, Noise.Cash uh, started batching their transactions so on-chain transactions have uh, fallen quite precipitously, which, you know, once again reveals the fact that um, we already have a huge amount of capacity on Bitcoin Cash um, and we need to fill that up, right? So, I mean, I'm a big blocker. I've always been a big blocker. I never understood this whole one megabyte block thing. I never understood the big core, the B core people. Uh, never understood any of that. I've always, I thought that Bitcoin Cash should have forked a long time before. I think uh, the, the big block cause within the BTC space should have been pursued a lot more aggressively. Whatever, it's done now. Um, so you would think, you know, that like other big block people, I'd be like, scale, we gotta scale. You know, but that's kind of a BSV thing, right? To to scale out of all proportion to current market demand and then scramble to fill up the blocks with like weather data or something, right? But that that's not a BCH thing. That's not that's not Bitcoin Cash. We we're we're not in this to to produce terabyte blocks tomorrow and yeah, you can use our system because at the end of the day it's not about the potential of the system. It's not about like, yeah, we, we can fit a million homes into this piece of land. It's about like, why should people move there in the first place? You know what I'm saying? And that's utility. And that's utility. And that's, that's what like, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's kind of a tough thing because you don't want to say like only focus on utility and then bam, the chain takes off. And then we have the same problem, which is high fees as BTC, right? So some things have to be done at the same time, but the good news is that fractional Satoshis is relatively easy. It's not a hard change to make. Um, it's not a big deal. You know, there's some coordination that needs to, to happen, but just adding another decimal place is really not uh, a huge, huge deal. I mean, it's not a mystery that we have to research for like 10 years, right? And that can keep uh, fees down 
Um, but the, the real trick is not, you know, building a, a warehouse where you can fit 64,000 transactions, right? That's not the real trick. Uh, you know, I, I'm not trying to downplay any of the work being done on scaling, but the real trick is to get people involved. The real trick is to get people using our blockchain, using Bitcoin Cash. That is the real trick. Because you can have, like BSV is such a good example of this. You can have all the capacity in the world. You can have all the promises. You know, we made the, we got the biggest blocks, you know. But if you don't have people using it, like, what's the point? What is the point? Oh, I built this mega warehouse out in the middle of uh, Antarctica, and it's the largest one in the world. Who cares? Who cares? What am I supposed to do with that? What are you going to, what's that for? What's the purpose? Why? Why was that all that all those resources invested there? So we start with utility. We start with utility, and um, with fractional satoshis, we can ensure that uh, fees uh, remain low, uh, micro fees, ultra low fees, which is really a signature characteristic of Bitcoin Cash uh, at this point. Um, and. Um, you know, I think that some big utility projects that are uh, on the horizon are group tokenization uh, from Andrew Stone at Bitcoin Unlimited. I did uh, an interview with him recently. Um, uh, what's the name? I forget what, what that's called, like doing more things with Bitcoin Cash or something like that. And prediction markets. Uh, I did an interview with Jason Dreisner about prediction markets recently, and it might be one of my most popular interviews, if not the most popular. Bitcoin Cash interview that I've done. Those are giant projects, you know, and, th and this 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 relates to something else, which is um, the f going back to the point that Noise that Cash is batching transactions now. Um, I think an another thing that we need to do is we need to uh, maintain our flipping of uh, BTC coin in terms of transaction count. Like that, that's just a very basic thing. People need to be using this chain. Um, we need to show at all times that we be that you know the Bitcoin code base can do uh, more transactions than um, than what BTC coin, uh, Cripple coin, is permitting to happen on their chain, while keeping fees low. We need to keep showing this at all times. We can't stop evidencing it. It can't just be a claim, right? It can't just be a historical claim either. It needs to be a fact at all times. Because um, at the end of the day, uh, for better or for worse, a lot of the Bitcoin Cash identity and brand is uh, defined in opposition to BTC, in contrast to BTC coin. Um, and so we need big, more big projects. You know, I think, as I said in an earlier video, we need like 10 more things like Noise.Cash. Um, you know, not 10 more social networks where we're just handing out BCH to people, um, but... 10 more things that can that can be major transaction generators and not not fake but real real group tokenization and uh prediction markets has have the potential to to be uh, some of those uh contributors so um utility versus scale where do you stand which comes first for you uh at this point in in bitcoin cash's uh development let me know and uh let's keep building bitcoin cash